I'm very happy to be here today in this particular occasion, announcing the Sydney Peace Prize today. And I feel very proud because uh, I was the inaugural uh, recipient of the Sydney Peace Prize in 1998. Today, uh, the announcement that uh, Joseph Stiglitz, famous uh, economist, is chosen as the uh, recipient of the 2018 uh, Sydney Peace Prize. Well, thank you very much. It's a real pleasure. It's a real honor to receive uh, uh, this prize. Uh, it means a great deal to me, uh, partly because uh, there is nothing more important than peace. And uh, I believe so strongly that uh, economic and social justice is necessary for uh, achieving peace. Uh, in my book, The Price of Inequality, I point out that you can't separate uh, the well-being of society, the growth of the economy, uh, from uh, the way the pie is divided from the inequalities in our society. That societies that are more divided uh, perform more poorly in every dimension. Uh, you have lower growth, uh, more instability, more conflict, uh, difficulty of achieving uh, political consensus. Well, there's absolutely no doubt that uh, in countries where there are high levels of inequality, and particularly when that inequality uh, goes across uh, ethnic boundaries as related to uh, ethnicity, that it leads to more uh, political uh, conflict. And uh, uh, sometimes this is submerged beneath the surface, but unfortunately, sometimes it more than surfaces and you get open conflict around the world. Well, it's partly uh, uh, that for a long time, for more than a third of a century, uh, the world has been sold on the absolute opposite idea of trickle-down economics. Like somehow, if you threw enough money at the top, everybody would uh, be benefit off, uh, be better off. But we now know, after uh, a decades of this failed experiment, that that's not true. We've thrown an awful lot of money at the very top, and uh, the result of that has been growth is actually slower than before this era of sometimes called neoliberalism, trickle-down economics began. And uh, the only groups that have really done well are those at the very top. And uh, part of the argument I put forward is that it would be in their enlightened self-interest to realize that a uh, better division of the national pie, a fairer distribution, more social justice, would actually may even make them better off because uh, the pie would grow uh, that much faster. Thank you very much, and I'm very much looking forward to, to coming to Sydney uh, uh, in November.